if anyone is qualified to know what a great return on her time is, it's lifestyle vlogger and management accounting postgrad Yolanda Kumalo. A short trip from doing her articles in the city brings her to South Africa's whale watching capital, where even a day feels like a week long getaway. I'm Yolanda Kumalo. I'm an accountant and a part-time lifestyle content creator. And today I'm in this beautiful town called Hermanas to explore and invest in one of the proudly South African businesses, places, and people. My journey as an influencer started in February 2020. When I started my channel, it was mainly out of enjoyment, doing what I love, documenting my life, showing things that I do on a daily or when I do go out. As time went, I started getting popularity, people liking my content and my channel blew up. And from then I started getting brands approaching me. And being a South African, it's very important for me to support proudly South African brands. I partnered up with Capitec Bank because Capitec Bank is not just any bank to me, it was my very first bank. I remember when I opened my account, it was when I was starting at university in my first year, and it was because of the low transaction costs that they had, so it was very fitting for a student. And now, as a young adult, it's still fitting in my lifestyle because of all the investment opportunities that they offer, such as Easy Equities. These make it easy and more affordable to buy shares in local and international stock markets. So with clever investing, you can start to live better. Investing with easy equities through Capitec is very easy. All you do, you just open your banking app and you register yourself on the Easy Equities platform. You can buy a share from as little as five rands. The nice thing about it is that you can manage and monitor your shares on your phone. There's a lot of international and local investment opportunities in the Easy Equities platform. But personally, I love to invest my money on proudly South African brands. You could even own a share in Capitec. You also get a tax-free savings account when you sign up for an Easy Equities account. Hi guys, I'm Karen at Oscar's Bakery and I just had some delicious cake and coffee. If you're ever in Hermanos, please do try this spot. It's giving Cape Town, it's giving Camps Bay, it's giving the vibes. And you know what? While I was sitting here, I also just checked out my Easy Equities app and I bought myself some shares. Guess what? Your girl is a shareholder. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys in a bit. I'm off to meet my tour guide. Mwah! Having seen the impact of COVID on tourism during the last two years, guide Trevor Gray is delighted that local travellers are again spending their escapes here. Right, Yolanda, what we have over here is a memorial to all the soldiers that passed away in the three wars. That includes the First World War, the Second World War and the Border War. Wow. We also have cannon over here. The cannon are in fact facing towards land and that is to signify that we're in peacetime. So if it was wartime, they would be facing that way and they would also be used in those days to take on U-boats and possibly enemy aircraft. Oh, I was actually wondering why they're facing this way. Yeah, exactly, exactly <laughs> that, yeah. One group of tourists who come in peace by sea each year and who have done so for tens of thousands of years at least are the southern right whales. And you can observe them from most points above the ocean. Hermanus is the whale watching capital of the world and whenever I take guests here, without doubt, it, it always, always, always delivers. Wonderful place, historic fishing village dating back to the 1800s. Great opportunity to do quite a lot of different things, including good food, great wines, being on the beach, of course, whale watching and the great outdoors. The Whale Crier was a stroke of marketing genius by a town local. 30 years ago, the first kelp horn blew to announce whales in the bay and Bulelani in Gidi continues the tradition. So Bulelani, are there any whales today? Uh, we were looking at two of them right here just now. They went underwater, but they can't stay there for longer than 20 minutes. They have to come out and breathe. Can't you call them out for us? Let's give it a try. <laughs> Maybe they're sleeping. <laughs> whale watching in this town is unique because the whales, they come really close to the shores and we get them every year from June till December to give birth, to mate and to train their calves. Getting closer to these giants means a boat trip with licensed operators who are very disciplined about getting close enough but without disturbing the whales. 
Going on a whale trip is very exciting because you don't know what you can expect to see. So you can expect the whales to jump, that's breaching. You can expect the whales to do some lobtailing. You can expect the whales to do some spy hopping because some of them are very curious. Some of these whales do the sailing behavior. That is when they keep their tails up, especially when they need to give birth. That is the way they're cooling themselves off. So when we see the sailing behavior, keep the tails up for long periods, that means that she's on heat and any moment in the bay she can give birth. Oh my goodness, I have never seen a whale in my whole entire life. So what I'm seeing here, it's so godly. <laughs> Wow! In terms of the whales and the southern right, it really is a circle of life where the babies are conceived here and they return on average every two to three years, depending on conditions, for them to carry on with their whole cycle. I think there's two whales there, hey? yeah. it is the baby and the... Yeah, that's the calf, which is probably about two months old, and then you've got the mother. As she's nursing now, about 600 litres of milk per day needed to nurse the calf in order for the calf to be strong enough to make the long trip back to the Antarctica. Oh. About two months old, so it'll be another three or four months before she'll have enough fat in order to be able to survive the cold water. I can't believe how big they are, they're huge. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That was a wonderful experience. Bucket list tick. I'm so hungry. Let's go eat. They were in luck getting an early table at the restaurant everyone wants to have dinner at. Its menu of freshly, sustainably caught fish brings in visitors from all corners. Chef, I've had such an amazing day today, seeing whales. I've never seen whales in my whole entire life. That sure. also Herman is such a very beautiful town, as they say. But tell me, why are we here? Well, what's so special about being Times Cave? Well, it's a great ending to the day. And this is an iconic restaurant here in Amarnas. It's a converted cave. It's been around for over 25 years. Great food, seafood in particular, great wines. Really makes one proud to be a South African. Biltang's Cave is very popular and it's on the map of the world because it's a restaurant located right by the ocean's edge. And Biltang is named after the last Khoisan strandloper who we believe she had supernatural powers that brings the whales to Walker Bay every year, every time for breeding and showing themselves off. They go the extra mile here as executive head chef Dean van Hastien fires up his specialities. Today we're going to do a South African favorite king clip served with prawns as well as a Cape seafood curry that will be served with some salsa and some pompadamas. The fresh flavor of local waters together with the Cape Malay spice has to be tasted in person. In my line of work, what makes me truly proud to be a South African is the opportunity to host guests from all over the world and to showcase the magnificence of this country, the beauty of the Western Cape in particular, and just the absolute diversity. It makes me truly proudly South African. I had a great, great time. And I think there's actually a difference in having a meal inside a restaurant and the sea. It just gives a little bit of different vibe. The views are incredible. Trevor, thank you so much for such a great time here in Hermanas. I'll definitely come back because this was such a memorable experience that I'll never forget anytime soon. It's been a great pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. This is one of a thousand South African towns, each with something unique to offer. Which point on our map do you dream of visiting and why? Tell us to stand a chance of winning a thousand rand towards your trip. Simply reply to the competition post on the Insider SA social media platforms using hashtag Capitech Live Better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.